Hello everybody and welcome to Ark Survival Ascended. We're going to be trying out the new building mechanics today. I'm going to take you through some of the new building mechanics. We're going to try out building a new starter house. Like the one you are seeing now. So if you do like this video, do sure to give it a like and thumbs up. Subscribe if you want. And let's get into the video. So here we are on the starting beach where every survivor usually spawns in. Now I'm going to build all the way over here in this lovely little cave sort of rock face formation. Looking very nice. The reason I'm, I'm building here, I want to build a starter house. Uh, a house that you're going to be able to build from the get go. If you took a picture of that, you just think that is real life somewhere. Like it looks very realistic. It's kind of nuts. So I have had a tiny bit of a play and I'm really excited by some of the features. Now you can actually lower your foundation. So if I put a foundation down, you can raise it and lower it, which is amazing. And added bonus, when you place it, it gets rid of all the leaves going through it. Look at that. All the leaves will magically disappear. So pretty epic. Everything's like really good at snapping now. Oh, it just is everything's so much better and it really excites me. The only thing is with the ceilings, they don't do the same thing as the as the foundations, unfortunately. Uh, meaning the ceilings don't get rid of the foliage. We're gonna just do a little small starter house, nothing too crazy. Be very easy. Pillars are so much better because you can also put them sideways now, which is amazing. Look at that. Love that feature. So let's get this on some foundation support. Other thing is, is you can pick up all your. It's, it's basically like if you ever played the S Plus version of Ark, um, the mod that allowed you to build um, and pick stuff up. It's basically that version. You can literally pick up all your structures, which is such a welcome change. There's no excuses anymore to have ugly ass builds. <laughs> so if you're doing an ugly build, shame on you. Shame on you. Now I am not going to use any greenhouse glass or anything because I'd love to, but I think, um, or maybe I will for the window, little windows to go in the window frames. But that's a bit of a, it's not really a starting house build if I do that. So I'm going to stick with the basics here. Probably go for a thatch roof. And I also may... Hang on a minute. You can also... Oh my god, you can add down here as well. So good! I love it. Um, right, how tall? The other thing that I know that they added was that now one tool... If you just want to do a house that's one tool, if I put a wall down here, it literally is taller than me. Remember before it was so claustrophobic but you couldn't see anything? But now, oh my god, it's so much easier. So, uh, let me uh, pick that back up. So, the other thing is, um, you don't have separate ingrams for different things like doorways and window frames. You just have the ingram for the wall. And then you're able to use R on keyboard to just switch through the different sections. So, say, door frame... Um, uh, window frame and there's a really cool one at the end that I didn't know when I was testing it out I had no idea but uh, this wall here that's a secret doorway and if I put it in not so secret at the moment but if I put it in and press E you can open it <laughs> look at that Open, close, open, close, open, close. So, pretty awesome, honestly. I love it. But the only thing is with that is when I was testing, I didn't realise and I was building the whole house out of secret door these secret doors. So you can literally go up to any wall and just open it. It was quite funny. Um, so, yeah. More to test, though. I haven't tested a lot. I've just tested a little bit. I just wanted to get to grips before making this video. Okay, so we've got our starting structure here. We've got a lot more to do to make it look glorious and pretty. 
So I think I've already cocked up because I want to make a pointy roof. So if I put one of these sloped roofs, uh, walls in, yeah. So I I need to go out an extra one to make this right. So if we extend this out by one, we should be able to get that pointy roof we're looking for. So just extending the house here. Now, one of the things that is a bit annoying is in the old arc, you could just replace a wall with the wall you currently got. Can't do that anymore. Unless you're holding a door frame or a window frame, then you can replace it or even a different material like stone, you can replace it. But yeah, can't do that at the moment, which, you know, bad i don't know if it's a bad feature or a good feature i don't know if it's intended or a bug but it might be intended because i used to replace walls all the time by mistake uh, i don't know about you guys and it used to annoy me honestly but it was also useful so i'm not sure on that one I was going to do an overhang here with the thatch roof, and I've, I've used thatch because, uh, obviously, starter material, starter house. You're not going to be using stone roofs at this stage, or you might be, if you're hardcore. So I'm just going to add in a corner wall piece here to see if we can get it to go at the top of the roof and see if we can do anything fancy with it. I doubt it, but it's just going to be fun to experiment. haven't really experimented with this yet. We can indeed place it there. So if we use these triangle roof pieces, we're able to create some really interesting, <laughs> wacky designs. I mean, I don't expect this to look good, but let's try it. I, I just think this is so exciting. Like, so many people are going to be building, like, the most wackiest designs and, like, the most intricate designs. I mean, look at that. I know it doesn't really go with this build at the moment, but you can see it working with another different type of build. So the level of detail you're able to achieve in the new arc is just second to none, honestly. So what I've done instead is I've, I've got the thatch on top, but I've kept the the roof, the wooden roof below, because it actually gives a really nice effect from down here. Oh, it's really nice, so I'm keeping that. So another amazing feature of the new arc is that you can literally, you remember before you had to pre-plan with your fence foundation uh, post that you had to stick into the ceilings and then you could then put your pillars to support the building. Now you can literally just go in and it just snaps. Look at that. You don't need anything. It will just snap. It's so good. The other thing is, you don't have to uh, pre-plan for your house. You used to have to put the pillars in first for your house, and then later come in with the walls. You don't have to do that anymore. You can literally go in, add in your pillars now if you would like. Which I'm going to definitely do. Hell yeah. Add them all in. so good there's literally no excuses anymore with art building it's just that good now add one there one here one there perfect and on this side we have one down there one going up there oh my god i've forgotten about this you can also do sideways yes so if i want i can go in and add some cool sideways features to the house Side beams? Oh, yes. That is dope as hell. Had it going that way, so let's add them in here. And on this side as well. Oh, love it. This is the MVP of the new arc. It's the railings. You have a choice between these little quarter walls. Um, I don't know what the difference is between that one and that one. Just opposite sides, I guess. And you have the railing. Now, the railing is the most valuable player by, by a long shot. 
you can do so much with it. You can put it underneath, you can put it over the top, you can stack it, you can go up diagonally with it if you find the right stat point. Look at, I mean, look at this. It's absolutely nuts. And even better than that, you can now add it on top of your roofs, on the side of your roofs. Oh god, it just makes me, it makes me so happy. I am definitely going to add it to my roof to give it some added detail. Oh, it's beautiful. It's honestly so good. Um, if I flip it, I could probably make a little design here. Look at that. I mean, you don't get much better than that. Look at that. You could do that in Ark now. It's just... Remember all the days of my frustrations in Ark building? And now it's just so easy to build. I love it. Uh, let's see if I can get it up to go up diagonally here to, to meet this, this one. I don't know if I'll be able to, but we'll try. Did it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Let me get rid of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, God, I love it. It's so good. The details that you can add now in Ark are just so incredible. Um, right, let me add you. And maybe I can get one going down into the roof. So if I flip it. Oh, my God, look at that look at that and then if I get rid of that one so this is a little bit finicky oh my god and it just stays there it just that look what I just created here look at the intricacy of that just from a few railings oh I love it There's so many cool things you can do with this people are gonna go create I mean I can't wait to see what people make in arc now I think it's gonna be so good uh, right Let's get this. Am I going to even put ratings on the side like this? Ugh. So good. Not sure about that line I just added, but sure. We'll go with the flow for now. Definitely on the sides here. So far, this is what we've achieved just using thatch and wood. Um, we've still got a lot to go, so let's continue our adventure. Uh, so we're not going to be using greenhouse walls, like I said before. We're going to use windows, uh, wooden windows. So let's put those in. The two up here. Let's add the door here. There we go. And then we need one right here. This will be a double door though. So let's add in the double door version. Perfect. So we really need to work out how people are going to get up to this uh, to this beach hut. I'm thinking either these stairs or let's see if they still got those spiral stairs and see how far that takes you. It doesn't really work because you, <laughs> you end up having to walk all the way around to get up. So let's get rid of this, and let's try uh, the other type of stairs. So one thing I've just found out is uh, they don't have pipes anymore. So no more pipes going to your house from the sea. What they've done instead is that they've got a wireless mode. So you put a water intake in and this blue sphere pops up if you sh do show range. So it shows you where the wireless range goes to. Unfortunately, if you're this close to the water, it does not reach your house. And there doesn't seem to be any pipes. If I just type in pipes in crafting. Yeah, no pipes. So you can't even extend this signal. So, for a lot of people, the only solution is going to be a water tank, unfortunately. Um, which sucks. 
I don't know if I like this change. I definitely like that there won't be in any annoying pipes anymore. But the alternative of all these water tanks people are going to have, you know, you got to hope that it rains now. Yeah, see, this is going to reach the house absolutely fine. So let's add in... And you can stack them at least. So... At least that's the thing. So, as you can see, it's pretty much done. I, I've done as much as I can. Uh, what have we got? We I, I had a little experiment with a few things, including this roof. So you've got triangle roofs you can do these kind of nice little shapes with. Very nice. I should have probably changed the thatch wood roof to uh, wood, but I did say this is meant to be starter house. So, you know... Um, didn't want to go too far with that. I've only used wood and thatch and a little bit of stone. I did do some stone pillars. I feel like it just adds a little bit of, uh, looks like it's got more support as the, as a foundation rather than just using wood. Wood, it looked fine, but it just gives a bit of variation on the pillars that makes it look just that bit nicer. Let me take you around properly. So you've got the stairs coming up to this area again this is just on the starting beach as you can see looking like a lovely view to wake up to every morning and it's nice because it's a bit higher up so you know dinosaurs shouldn't be able to get you maybe a t-rex could uh but and a bronchosaurus probably his neck would be up here but it's a, it's a nice height it's a nice height you've got your plant pots here now I don't know to irrigate these. I think if you, if they're in range of your water tanks, they should automatically irrigate, which is a nice feature, I have to admit. Uh, I put loads of torches everywhere so that it's light lit up at night. Um, ooh, one of them just went out. Uh, another nice thing, you can stack up your storage boxes. I can't remember if this was a feature in the original arc, but you can stack them now, which means you can make these nice little sort of displays of storage areas uh yeah i didn't do much out here another thing that's changed which looks pretty creepy is the dummy the dummy's had a complete rework and you can also change it to a female dummy if i can change it so overwrite overwrite with female and there you go there's a female dummy now so it's uh that's a nice little change coming in here we have a little fireplace, seating area, uh, a bench for eating, looking quite nice. I found out that you can put canvases on the cave walls, which is amazing, I mean, on the mountains. So, yeah, definitely utilise that. I don't know how that could be utilised, but it's really cool that you're able to put stuff on there. I, I just, I love that. Only canvases and probably the map as well. As far as I'm aware, got a nice view of the leafage out here. Uh, coming out to the main area here, close the door. We've got, um, ah oh yes. So another amazing thing about the canvases is you can spin them around. So I thought this was a good idea. You could use them like diamonds or any, you can make patterns out of this. You could probably make a really nice wall design with all the canvases. So that's like a nice way you can utilize those. Uh, Really fun to play around with all of this, honestly. Uh, I really like that, though. That really, like, adds a nice detail to your build, if you want. Uh, bookshelf looks amazing. The new bookshelves. Again, I added some storage stuff here. No rugs. That is a shame. There aren't any rugs in the game as of yet. I did try to use the spawn command for it. Didn't work. Tried everything. Couldn't find it. So, not sure if it's in the game yet. We just got a little kitchen cooking area here. Nothing too special. The map's been redone. That's exciting. Uh, again, I used those canvases there. I really like that feature. It's so cool. Uh, up here, just got a bed. Nothing too exciting. I should have probably put some storage boxes here. Didn't have uh, time. I, by the time I'd been kicked out of the game like four times, I just forgot. There, there was originally storage boxes there, and uh, yeah, they're just not there anymore because I got kicked out and things went back in time like so many times. The railing is definitely, as I said earlier, the best feature about the building so far. So yeah, it's looking fantastic. And that is 
what you could do for a starter build, honestly. So if you are starting out, do consider just utilizing those uh, pillars and the railings to add some extra details to your build. I think those are like the biggest tips, honestly. You you could use the storage boxes stacked up to give you some more nice furnishings. Look like you've got like a nice storagey area. Really just for decoration. I wouldn't think that these would be utilized. You could make a proper storage area somewhere. Um, yeah, looking fantastic. I'll show you what it looks like at night as well because with all the lights on right now, it'll look really cool. Let's do, show you that. Another tip, guys, if you're in creative mode, you can just go on to the photo mode, which is in your settings and you can change the time of day and the weather here i didn't realize this until later but if i change the time of day now and then i'll toggle photo mode off look at that beauty it looks fantastic at night as well So yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video of me building in Ark. <laughs> I used to do a lot of big builds in the old Ark, never recorded it though. But I really want to recreate some of my old builds in this current Ark to see how I can improve them. Um, this is definitely a nice start to... It was really just me playing around to see what is we're capable of building in the new Ark. And so far, very positive. I hope that they bring back the vases. I would, I'm would, i sure they will uh, with time and the rugs. Then we've just got a little bit more decorations to add to our builds. It will look fantastic. If you did enjoy today's content, please smash that subscribe button and give this video a like. Love you all to death. I'll see you in the next video.